Good afternoon, folks. My name is Benjamin. I'm here with East Side this time. And I'm here to talk about the old fashioned. Woo! As well as how to house pickle your own fruits for your own home use. Awesome. Uh, so, truth be told, all cards on the table. For years and years and years, I actually thought that I knew what I was doing when it came to old fashioned. So, <laughs> when I was offered the position to then do this, I leapt at the chance. I did up the recipe, all that, and immediately jumped into picking my own cherries. I was having a great time. Up until last night, when I happened to do a little bit more research and find out that I actually was doing it completely wrong, like everybody that I hated when they made the old fashions. What I was making was a whiskey cocktail. Shaken, soda, all that, that's not old fashioned. So, after I get into pickling and talk about that, we're gonna actually do old fashions, how they're originally intended to be. Now when I say originally, I mean that the old fashioned is right up there with the Sazerac as the original Woo! cocktail, period. 1806, there was an editor for a news rag that stated that the cocktail, back then two words, uh, was literally spirits, bitters, water, and sugar. That's it. And that's all the old-fashioned is. It's just that simple. There's never soda, there's never orange, there's no pineapple or any of the other <laughs> flags and fruit and stuff that people put into these days. So we'll get into that here in a second. Um, now as far as pickling is concerned, um, I love pickling. It's, it's one of the easiest things to do and yet it's not widely done. It's just kind of scary. People think you have to go to the store to get pickles. Um, it ends up being really simple. You take your boiling water, much like we had um, from, uh, what, the last guy that was up here. Yeah, Stone. Stone uh, was showing us how to do simple syrup. It's a very similar premise. So you have your boiling water, you have kosher salt, your vinegar, uh, bay leaf, coriander, black pepper, corn, and cinnamon. Mm. Now this is a particular concoction that I've made just because these cherries are going into the old fashioned. So, other pickling, you can use dill, you can use fennel, you can use um, you know, Szechuan peppers, all manner of various things. And you get to choose what your fruit is going to go into, and that's how you decide what herbs you're going to use for your pickling. Whether it's rice vinegar or red vinegar, red wine vinegar, excuse me, um, all of that. So, as it comes down to it, cherries are remarkably simple. These are pie cherries, otherwise known as tart cherries, sour cherries, Montmorency cherries, um, they're native to Oregon, at least we have our own type. Um, you can get them frozen, you can get them canned, or actually what I recommend you do, you get them fresh. Hmm. Now, this particular pickling liquid takes at least three days to really marry the flavors up to five months. So you can make a whole, like, several pounds and have them down in your, in your cellar or whatnot and just enjoy the old-fashioned as often as you like for half a year. <laughs> Um, so, like I said, that's a, that's a very simple thing to be adding to, and yet, the cherry was not an original ingredient to the Old Fashioned. Um, getting into the Old Fashioned, it's a very simple thing. Like I said, we have spirits, sugar, bitters, and water. Um, now, they, uh, they refer to it as uh, like bitters, like you were saying earlier. The bitters were original medicine. Uh, they were going to add like fortified uh, herb, concoction, like tonic, right? So those being added to it, they figured that this was a healthy thing to do. This was just, uh, the cocktail originally was a breakfast drink, or at least first thing in the morning. Woo! This is this is what you drank. Was, and the doctor recommended that you do so because it's medicine. I love that, bro. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. That's where it originally came from. So you would start off, um, excuse me, you start off with, uh, very simply, we take your sugar cube, your rocks glass, ironically enough, actually called an old fashioned glass for a reason. Whoa. So, one, uh, one sugar cube. You have bitters. Uh, for this particular pickled cherry version, um, I have rhubarb bitters, oddly enough, so did the last guy. Uh, and then Penshaw's bitter, bitter, excuse me. Typically, it's only two dashes per. I'm going to do one each. And you have it on the sugar to assist you in muddling it. And you just kind of sit there and squash it, so you want to have your hand covered so it's not squishing all over the place, but gently so you don't break the glass. <laughs> Very important. Sorry. Let's
I will say here that typically you'll also add water to kind of dilute it. Um, I don't really like doing that. Because uh, our, our bourbon, our Burnside bourbon, is astounding. There's really no reason to water it down. You're really doing yourself a disservice. And Lenny, the creator of bourbon. Don't do it. Uh, close enough. <laughs> so at that point, sure you have one. really two ounces of bourbon, which, as we learned earlier, is about a four count. Yep. So, what we're going to do here is, granted, the sugar is not entirely dissolved, but after you make your old fashioned, I mean, it, it looks like it's just bourbon sitting in a glass with a bit of sugar and Nothing no water, but a bit of bitters and so on. And quite literally, that's exactly what an old fashioned is. <laughs> you know, this, this is a drink that will metaphorically put hair on your chest, and that's what it's for. Woo! This is a fantastic drink. It is old fashioned and aptly named. And it's a gorgeous thing. Now from here, you could stop here and say, I have not successfully made an old fashioned like any bartender I've ever known. Or you could go a little bit further. It's entirely up to you. You could, for instance, add a pickled cherry. Or, and or, you could take an orange with a vegetable peeler and just kind of tear off the, tear off a little bit. Come on, you. If it wants to, oh, of course. It's a brand new vegetable peeler, so it's hermetically <laughs> sealed. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, right? So we have this slip of orange. Just a little piece. Now the important part here is not so much the orange rind. What we're looking for are the oils. So, you just kind of squeeze it over the top. Roll it around your fingers, get the oils inside because you're looking for the aromatics. Those oils are going to sit on top of your drink, and while you're drinking it, you'll smell the bit of orange as you're sipping it. You can throw it in there, recommend it. Just throw it off to the side, get rid of it. Now, speaking of aromatics, because of the mix of herbs that I have for my pickled cherries, I've also added a fresh sage leaf to the garnish, because this is going to sit near your nose while you're drinking it. So you don't have to ruin the old fashioned, you're just adding something that is going to aromatically affect it as you're sipping it. And that, my friends, is an old fashioned. Simple as that. So that being as simple as it is, and as fast as it is, do we have any questions? So what were, so bay leaves and uh -huh. mustard? Uh, no, coriander seed. Oh, you coriander. can use mustard seed okay. if you like, sure. And black pepper. Black, black pepper. peppercorn. Okay. You can use green peppercorn, pink or Szechuan peppercorn. Okay. Um, really, what we're looking for here, these are the old fashions that are going around. Sorry, I was supposed to actually give them a, a notice. <laughs> Also, something I want to mention, um, as far as the pickle is concerned, and this is this is essential. I should have mentioned this earlier. Um, when you're looking for your salt, do not, under any circumstances, use iodized salt. You want kosher salt or similar. Dino. Never use iodized be, uh, because it clouds the pickling liquid, and uh, within a couple of days, it'll ruin your entire concoction. So, do you use diamond or uh, kosher? Yeah, yep, yeah, diamond. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not that I really am like stuck on a brand of kosher salt. I mean, really, it's rock chips. But uh, and then red wine vinegar. 